Imagine a Minecraft car where you can roll around your city in style. Oh, you mean like this car? Check it out guys, a working car in Minecraft that can go forward or backwards. To make this car, you will need the following materials. You will need two sticky pistons, two observers, about nine slime blocks, four blocks for wheels, in my case black wool, then one block for the body of the car, in my case cobblestone. Oh, and also you're gonna want some flint and steel because this actually powers the car. So first up, take out your wheel blocks and in a three by three square, place down wheels with spaces in between them, just like this. So wheel, space, wheel, space, wheel, space, and so on. Now pick the front and back of the car. In my case, we'll be traveling this way. So the front's gonna be here, the back is here. Go to your front and put two slime blocks up. Go to the back, two slime blocks up as well, but then go back by one again, and then up by one again. So the front are two slime blocks, the back are two L shapes. On the front of your car, connect these two slime blocks together like this. From that middle block, go back one towards the back. Now we're gonna have an observer right here facing downward. To do that, just take out some temporary blocks, build up by two, then break the middle one, go to the bottom, put the observer facing down, and break the top block just like this. Go to the back of your two L's, place down an observer facing down just like that one, then place down a slime block right there in the back. Now it's time for your sticky piston, so take out your pistons, face the back of the car, and put a piston right in this hole here in the middle so it's facing towards the front. Now go to the back of your car. On the left side, put a sticky piston coming back the opposite way, just like that. And on the other side, a block of your choice. I'll do cobblestone. I know it's kind of ugly, but you need to have a solid block there, so do it. Now the car is fully functional. Take out your flint and steel. These two observers are used to power it. So this one goes back, this one goes forward. So for example, I click this thing, it's going backwards. Now I will note, the observers are kind of glitchy, but if you want to in general go each direction, you just flick a flint and steel on that observer. So right there I stopped it, let's try it again. Still going backwards. Let's try the opposite, let's click the back one instead. There we go, that works. So it is glitchy, you might have to spam it a little bit and go back and forth, so maybe bring a couple of flint and steels in here, but that's your car. Now that's all nice and dandy, but you want a real hot rod, don't you? So you can actually add some blocks onto this car. You can have a max of one, two, and three blocks with this car working. A fourth block will stop it. So we could have three blocks coming out like this and have some weird like drill car, which could be cool in like a quarry setting. Maybe I put the front out a little more, put like a window here and a chair. Again, it's all up to you, it's personal preference, but you only have three blocks, so use them wisely. Also keep in mind, if you place a block not touching a slime block, it won't stay there, so it has to be on a slime block to stick. Now if you don't like green cars, you might be able to use honey blocks for this too and make a yellow car. I haven't tried it yet, let's test it out. All right, give it the test. Nope, doesn't work. Wait, that is a fail, that is a failed car. Hope you like green. So yeah guys, that is a car in Minecraft. By the way, I also have videos for a plane and a submarine. So if you wanna fly or submerge, links to those down below. If you wanna see more helpful tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe. But on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.